kitchen. I'm going to share a recipe with you for pasta and meatballs. I'm Italian and when I started to eat more plant-based uh, slash Mediterranean slash vegetable forward, I'm trying to replace the meat dishes with something more plant-based. So I have my own recipe for pasta and meatballs from this from the spaghetti sauce or gravy as we call it to um, the actual meatballs that you were gonna love and you're not even gonna know or miss that they didn't come from a cow. So let's get started. Okay, so the ingredients for my marinara or my spaghetti sauce are San Marzano style tomatoes. These tomatoes, a friend of mine told me, are a little bit less acidic. So if you have any issues at all with acid in tomato sauce, you want to try using these particular tomatoes. I'm going to use two cans of the San Marzano style tomatoes. I'm going to use one little can of the Hunt's tomato paste. I like the Hunt's brand. Uh, it seems to be all natural and I just it's just what I prefer. I like the Hunt's brand tomato paste. I'm going to use a little bit of Himalayan salt. I'm going to use a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to use a nice fresh sweet onion and surprise ingredient I'm going to use some medjool dates. Also a little bit of nutritional yeast and of course we can't do it without our vegan parmesan. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is take my tomato and I like to puree them myself so I'm just going to go quick to the blender and uh, blend up these tomatoes. But before I do that I'm going to take my large stock pot and I'm going to add about two tablespoons of oil. So right about that much. I'm going to take my onion and I'm going to let that saute whilst I'm going to do about a half of a sweet onion. I really like using a sweet onion instead of a, a red onion. I think it, it just tastes better in the sauce. So we're going to I'm just going to cut that up. Don't leave any bad spots. Okay, and we're just going to plop that right into our. right into our olive oil and I'm going to go ahead and let that saute. Okay, then we're going to go over and we're going to puree my tomatoes and I'll be back. Okay guys, um, so one of the key ingredients that I forgot to mention initially was California style garlic powder. If you have fresh garlic and you want to use fresh garlic, go for it, but this is my go-to that I love and I love the fact that it's got parsley in it and that it's coarse ground. So I took my tomatoes over to my Vitamix and I blended them up until they're nice and pureed. So there you have two cans. Meanwhile, my onions are pureeing. So at this point, I would take my garlic. And by the way, the recipe will be below, the full recipe. And I'm just going to put my garlic in there. Was ever smell a vision that smells amazing it's cooking up so we're just going to let that cook up and make that nice and translucent once that's translucent then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put in our tomato and some of our other ingredients and uh, we're going to we're going to let it we're going to let it simmer for a couple of hours. You want it to simmer a long time. The longer you let it simmer, the thicker the uh, tomato sauce gets. So you want to leave it simmer as long as you can. So a couple hours is usually good. So we're going to saute this until it gets nice and translucent. That's right about there now. And now we're going to add in our tomatoes. Our San Marzano tomatoes. Here we go. Now at this point.
point, I'll add some more seasoning. You can omit the salt if you like. I'm just going to add a little bit. If you like fresh brown black pepper, you can put that in at this point. I'm also going to add my vegan parm. And uh, just a little bit of nutritional yeast. Okay. Take our tomato paste and we're going to add it. I'm going to stir that up. Our dates. This is going to give it such a flavor like you can't believe. It's just going to be so delicious. Cut them in quarters, preferably the, without the pits. I bought the ones with the pits by mistake, but we're going to cut them in quarters. We're going to use maybe four. There's the pit. Take that out. And this kind of dissolves when you're when it's cooking. So you don't, it's not like you're going to bite into a date. Let me just uh, this. Just trust me, it gives it such a wonderful flavor. That was three, and I think I'll do one more small one. Take the date out. I mean, take the seed out. There we go. Now we're going to take our dates, and we're going to put them in. There we go. Let me give that a stir. Stir. We have all our ingredients. We're going to put this on the back burner and we're going to let it simmer for a couple of hours. We'll come back and check on this later. So this is about an hour and a half into the simmer. So that's pretty thick. That's pretty much how I like it. Okay, so if you like your sauce even thicker, you can simmer it even longer, but that's about an hour and a half. And now I'm going to place my meatballs into my sauce. There we go. One. And then we're going to simmer it. And it's going to take on all the flavors of the ingredients in the sauce. A little garlic bread, salad, and we'll be good to go. Let that simmer for like about another 10 or 15 minutes. So the meatballs get incorporated into the sauce or the gravy, as us Italians say. Okay, so now let's make those um, delicious meatballs that you're not even going to realize aren't really from a cow. So let's get started. Here's my ingredients. So we're going to take a nice large bowl. My ingredients are breadcrumbs. I like to use the unseasoned uh, breadcrumbs. You can also use panko crumbs. I've used panko crumbs too and they work really, really well. We're going to be using onion powder. We're going to go back to our coarse ground uh, California style garlic powder. Nutritional yeast. Vegan parm, Himalayan salt, and a little bit of almond milk. And I'm using something called meat egg as an egg replacement for the binder. Um, this is going to be uh, this is going to work in you know like I said in place of uh, using a chicken egg. Is impossible burger. This stuff is so good. Doesn't doesn't, I'm telling you, can't even tell the difference. And it's made from plants, Mother Nature. Okay, to, so to make the neat egg, we're going to need two tablespoons of water. So I'm going to go get two tablespoons of water. If you um, aren't truly vegan, you could definitely just use a chicken egg. But I'm going to try to keep this recipe as, as vegan as I can. Um, okay, so we have two tablespoons of water, and to that we're going to mix 
one tablespoon of the neat egg. Put that in. And then we're just going to mix it up. And basically it gives you like a little bit of an eggy sort of consistency, if you can see. And we're going to use that as our binder for the meatballs. All right. Okay. All right. So now we're going to take our impossible meat. There's the meat. It's going to go in the bowl. Boom. Okay. All right. Just break that up a little bit. Okay. My sauce is smelling wonderful. It's it's over there simmering and simmering away. Okay, so now the uh, ingredients, we're going to start with our garlic. I didn't really measure, but I will measure for the recipe. Lots of garlic. And we're going to go with the onion. Basically, it's almost my, my old Italian meatball recipe. Minus the um, the meat, a little bit of Himalayan salt. We're going to use the parm. We're going to use this parm. We're going to go with probably. Well, again, I'll give you the recipe. And you know, you can tweak this to your taste as well. If you like more garlic, add more garlic. If you like more. Um, onion, you can add more onion. So we're going to take our breadcrumbs, that a half a cup. Half a cup breadcrumbs. Now we're going to add, we're going to add our neat egg. Let's do the recipe. And I have some almond milk I'm going to use. I use that to give it a little bit more, um, just to help bind it again. So maybe about, let's see how much I'm going to use. Maybe about a quarter cup of almond milk. Okay. All right. Okay. Take our handy dandy spoon here and we're going to mix this bad boy up. Make these delicious Italian meatballs. But we're going to go ahead and make sure we mix this up really really good get all those flavors incorporated and I normally like to get in here with my hands a little bit too up again and again you know you might have to make it a couple of times to get it to your exact taste but that's the basic recipe and you can add a little bit more or less onion garlic uh, nutritional yeast um, parm We'll add the nutritional yeast. I don't think I added it before. I don't think I did. It sort of give it a little cheesy flavor. I want to add a little nutritional yeast. If I did add it before, you know what? It's okay. You can never have too much nutritional yeast. I will put them into the gravy when the gravy's done. There you go. How beautiful is that little meatball? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and roll the rest of these up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so they're all rolled up. Here they are, my beautiful, beautiful vegan meatballs. And I think it made 11, one, two, three, four, five, six. Made like a dozen, a little less than a dozen uh, meatballs. So now I'm gonna fry them up in my iron skillet with a little bit, maybe a tablespoon or two of my extra virgin olive oil. Okay, so they're getting nice and toasty brown. I'm just gonna flip them. Okay, so they're all fried up. That's what they look like. Nice and crispy, crunchy, deliciousness meatballs. And they are ready to go into my um, spaghetti sauce as soon as that is ready. That's still simmering it away. So it's just that's what the meatballs are going to look like, and we're going to taste test them later on. 
So for my pasta tonight, I'm actually going to use Dream Fields. Um, penne Regatte. It's like a cross between a ziti and a rigatoni. They're really, really, really good. Now I'm going to try it with the pasta and the, and the sauce and my meatless meatball. So here we go, down the hatch, as they say. Mwah. Perfecto! Mwah. Fabulous! I'm gonna go and eat the rest of this and maybe have seconds, and I'll see you later. I'm gonna probably take it to my daughter's tonight and I'm gonna have my, uh, maybe my granddaughter or my daughter or my son-in-law or my husband uh, do a little taste test and um, we'll see how they like it. Okay, it's gonna be husband test it. Try one of my meatballs. Here we go. Here we go. That's a half a one, so that's good. That's a good, and they're only room temperature. No, oh, no, take the need... little one. Yep, take okay. the little one. They're tasty. Oh, you like it? They're delicious. Oh, all right. Thank you. Well, you're quite welcome. Hey, I am at my daughter's house, and we are about to eat dinner, and I wanted to do a taste test for my meatballs. So you saw my husband's reaction. Now we're going to do Eva, yeah. and then we're going to do my daughter. So, okay, Eva, you haven't tasted them yet. No, this is like America's Got Food Talent. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right take a little piece. Oh, is it hot? What? No. Woo! Is it good? Does it taste like regular meatballs? No, it tastes like your meatballs. <gasps> it, tastes it tastes like my meatballs, right? Mm -hmm. no, I know it. I that's I'm telling you, it's all the uh, oh my gosh, she's eating all the save one because mommy must I'm gonna do a taste okay. test for mommy. She loves them. It's so good. Yay! Mm -hmm. Hey now my daughter right. is gonna try it, Tammy. Oh, she's making a real small piece because she don't trust me. Smells like a meatball. Yep. <laughs> if it looks like a meatball and it smells like a meatball, it must be a meatball. Mmm. Oh, okay. Not bad, right? Good. Tastes amazing. All right. Thank you. Amazing. Right? What did you... See? It's Impossible Burger. And it looks like a meatball. And it Wait, looks it's like Impossible meatball. Burger? It's Impossible Burger. Impossible Burger meat. And all the rest of the ingredients are mine. It tastes different than me. Except mm -hmm. it's not. Um, That's really good, Mom. Thank I'll, you. I want some more. That's really good. Yay! <laughs> so that's it from my kitchen for today. If you are trying to eat healthy and you're trying to uh, be more plant-based and you're trying to just eat, you know, more vegetables or vegetable forward and you're missing some of your comfort food. Um, I'm Italian and I was missing my pasta and meatballs. Um, and I found a way to do it and make it so that it tasted almost exactly like my mom's, my grandmother's, and it's absolutely delicious. And I can't really even tell the difference. And there is zero meat. So if you like the recipe as well, please let me know. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next go around. Stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.